Hello, welcome to another video with P5JS Sound. As you can see in the previous video, this is the result of that one where I have this talking ellipse which moves as I um, speak. It's really just responding not to my voice, but any sound. Um, and so what I want to do is now connect this same volume listening thing to an MP3 file instead of my voice and see what happens when we get that. So let's take a few steps to do that. The first thing I need to do is, well, make sure I have an MP3 file, which I do. You can see it right here. It's called this-dot-kp. It's a little song about not forgetting the this dot in JavaScript uh, that uh, Christian Peterson on SoundCloud created. I'll include a link in this video to that song if you want to mess with it. Um, let me go to the code. And what I want to do is I want to say, I'm going to create a variable called song. And I'm just going to use the preload function to uh, load that sound. This dot k kp.mp3. And then I'm going to say uh, here, song.play. So let's just run it. Like that, make sure the sound plays. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this hey, dot. It works. I'm gonna do this, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this crazy, this huh? Dot, this dot, I'm gonna do this dot. So, of, of course, it's working, so to speak, because the mic is listening, the sound is coming out of the speakers, and the mic hears that. But I think what you might ultimately really want to do here is not listen to the song through the microphone, but actually connect the song itself. And to do that, you need something in P5 called an amplitude object. So I'm going to, in this example, now get rid of the mic completely. Um, and um, I'm just going to set the volume equal to 1 here. And we can see if I run this again. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. In order for the uh, song to be able to pause so we don't, I don't have to, we don't have to listen to constantly while I'm talking or whatever, I'm just going to add quickly a button. Uh, and I'm going to call it uh, toggle. Uh, and I want to say button dot mouse pressed toggle, uh, toggle song. And so I need to write a function called toggle song where uh, if song is playing, song dot pause, otherwise song dot play. So I think if I just add that really quickly, um, I, uh, unmute the tab. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. Okay, great. So I should now I can at least play and pause the song really easily right there in the browser, and that'll make working with you, you watching this video presumably a little easier. Okay, so now I have the song loaded and I have it playing. Now, how do I listen to the amplitude? So I need to add another variable. I'm going to call it AMP for amplitude, amplitude being another word for volume. And in setup, I can create amplitude equals new p5.amplitude object. Now, here's the thing. The next step should probably be, or, or might likely be in many spheres of existence, connect the amplitude analysis object to the song. So there's an amplitude object and a song object, and they need to be connected so that the amplitude object can listen to the amplitude of the song. The thing about it is what P5 will do, I think if I've got this correct, automatically behind the scenes, is just kind of that amplitude object is just going to listen to the stuff that's playing by default. So I really only have to get into the detail of this if I have multiple songs playing at the same time. I don't only want to listen to one, but we don't really have to worry about this. I should just be able to say amp.getLevel. Let's see what we've got here now. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm going to do this dot, oh, this dot. I know what we should make. This, this dot, we should this make dot, a little dancing dot. character. I'm going to do this dot, this dot, I'm going to do dot, this dot. OK, this but dot. Um, before I do that, I think something that might be interesting to try in this video is a, uh, to graph that volume level. So let's think about how we might do that. So there's a, a variety of ways we could do that, but I think something, a, a useful way might be, I'm going to create a variable called history, which is just an array. And I'm going to say each time through draw, I'm going to say history.push volume. So let's run this again. As always, I always Ooh. forget the this dot. This History dot, dot, this dot push this is dot. not a function. Line 30. History dot push. 
Bar history. Uh, you know what? I think history was probably the worst name of anything I could have ever come up there with there because, and this happens a lot in JavaScript, I'm working with P5 in the global namespace, meaning I'm just like, I'm just writing variables, I'm doing whatever I want, var this, var that, function this. And you know, it, this can get you into, it's great for prototyping and getting started and making stuff and sketching out ideas, but you do, there are things like, what if I were to say var window? That's a big problem too. I have a feeling history is a kind of built-in global variable in JavaScript in the browser that is related to the browser's history or something. So I'm going to say volume history, uh, vol history, um, and I'm going to do this. So now As we can always, see I've got no error anymore. This dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. Just look in the console here. This dot, this dot. I'm going to do this, this dot. We can see already I've got this giant array of every single volume value from whenever this program started. So let's go back to the code and let's do something with that. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to say for var i equals zero, i is less than vol history dot length, i plus plus. Let's just draw a little point. Uh, point i comma whatever the volume is. So let's do that. Let's comment out the ellipse. And here we go. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot. I can't see anything going on. This dot, this dot. So why not? So one thing that's going on here is what I want is I want that volume that's between zero and one when it's uh, at point five. I want to see it in the middle of the screen maybe. When it's at uh, one, I want to see it at the top. When it's at zero, I want to see it at the bottom. So really, what I should do is I should get a y value, which is mapping vol history, which goes between zero and one, and I want to say when it's one. When it's zero, I want it to be at the bottom of the window. And when it's one, I want it to be at the top. And so I'm kind of inverting that mapping. And now I should be able to do this. Uh, and now let's run this. As always, I always forget uh, the this dot, this dot, maybe this I need dot, to add this a dot. Stroke. I'm going to do this dot, this dot. As always, I yeah. always forget the this dot, this dot, this so dot. So we're seeing this that I'm going to do this volume dot, graphed this over time, this, but this it's really left this the page. Dot, dot. So a couple things that I want to do here. Number one is I want to actually draw this as a continuous form. So I'm going to say begin shape and end shape and change this to vertex. And I'm going to say no fill because I just want to, I don't want to, I don't want to fill in the vertex. So I'm going to do that. As always, see. I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. We see the volume being this graphed dot, there. Dot, this, and then this what dot, I can do dot, is I can just dot, say if this dot, this dot, 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 vol history, this dot, this dot. if vol history dot length is greater than width, then I can just say vol history dot splice. I want to get, I want to, uh, the, the first element. So as I'm kind of like building up the history. And then uh, once I get to the end, I want to delete the oldest one and get the new history. Because I just want to see the graph from what it's been with, it, with this, in the sort of most recent history. So if I run this again. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm going to do this dot, this dot. I'm seeing this graph over time. This dot, this dot. I'm going to do this dot, this dot. I'm going to do this dot, this dot. Yeah, I could center it. Um, so Mikolai in the chat uh, mentions I could center it. Oh, Clappy Bird, that was the idea, yeah. Um, um, so I'm going to center it, meaning when it's zero, uh, I want it to be at a height divided by two, right? As always, I always forget yeah. that this, oh, this dot, this dot, this dot. Actually, what I really this want this is this like, dot, this, this is sort of silly. I can sort of figure out the this range dot, this dot, have about the center of 0.5, whatever. This dot, you guys can this dot, make this work. This better. Dot, this dot, um, this dot, I should this make a red dot, vertical this line dot, to show what the real time is. Oh, I like that idea. Okay. Um, so, oh, I could center it like, um, yeah. So, what if I did something like, um, well, you guys are giving me all sorts of silly ideas. So, there's, if I were to make a red line, that is where that is, is line at the end with which is really uh, width comma zero, width comma one. Of course, it's really width minus one. 
So if I run this. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do actually, this dot, this dot, I'm gonna do this, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this dot, I'm gonna do dot, this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot, song. this dot, this dot, this dot. As always, I always yeah, forget the this dot, this dot, really this dot, this dot, dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this dot. And I guess what I could do is I could say this if it's greater than width like this dot, minus this fifty dot. or something. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this dot. I'm gonna do this, this dot, this dot. So anyway, I can keep going with this. I think this ends this particular video. And in the next video, I'm gonna look at this dot how I can listen to more information about the sound other than just the volume. So what would it mean instead of listening to the overall amplitude to listen for the amplitude at various different frequency levels? Okay, see you in a future video. And we're back. Someone in the chat had a great suggestion. I misunderstood the suggestion, which is not sort of centering the graph on the page, but what if this dot, this dot, uh, the graph, this dot, this dot, the current volume this dot, is always drawn at the center point, and so the whole thing is kind of shifts up and down. I think that might visually create an interesting effect. So I'm gonna use translate for this. So what if I were to say, um, let me give myself a little more space here. Um, this is where I'm calculating the Y value. So this is the Y position, that's where that vertex is being set. But before I do any of this, okay, so let's do this. Let's map it between zero and height. And let me say though, translate, to height divided by two. So in this case, as always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. Whoops, uh, did I do that in the wrong place? Uh, oh, tra translate, sorry, zero, height divided by two. As always, and I always I mean forget that the this negative dot, this height divided dot, by two. As okay. always, I always forget so the this dot, So I've now translated so that it's in the this center. Dot. I'm gonna do this dot, this dot. Let's I'm get rid of the this, red this line dot, for this a second. Dot, this dot, I'm gonna do this dot. And what I wanna do though is actually take the current volume, right? What's the current Y level? So the current Y, whatever the newest, right, current Y is whatever that actual current volume is. And what if I translate everything up but shifted by that volume? Negative height divided by two plus that current Y. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I just want to translate back by current Y, right? As always, I always forget the this yeah, dot, this I dot, this dot, this dot. I go this dot, this dot, this dot. As always, I always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I go this dot. can put the this dot red line this back dot, in. This dot. Never forget the this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. I go do this dot, this dot. I go do this, this dot, this dot, this dot. The red line should not be affected by that translate. This dot. As always, I right, always forget the this dot, this dot, this dot. This I don't know dot. if this is better or worse or what. Dot, I kind of imagined this letter different back. Okay, we'll be back in the next video. See you soon. This dot.